what's up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of a brit if you're new here welcome today i will be taking you guys along with me for a very fun project a off and on project that i've been working on for the past six or seven months i started this project during the pandemic so i was off and on due to the fact that i couldn't find a lot of the things that i wanted when i wanted them i got discouraged along the way and i would stop then i would find stuff and so it's been off and on but i have finally finished my bedroom um i'll say it's about 85 percent complete there is a few more things that i want to get my hands on but for right now i just decided to just go ahead and show you guys how it looks now at 85 percent and then um within the next couple months when i get my hands on the last two or three things that i know i want um I'll show you guys an update and I can do like an updated video and then that way if you guys have any suggestions for me you would have had the opportunity to help me get it where I want it to be at a hundred percent so I'm not gonna talk a whole lot I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the transformation what I did was I recorded my room back last July last summer when I started this project I recorded my room um, before the whole madness so i'm gonna show you a clip of how my room looked before then i'm gonna take you guys along the past six months six months with me just clips here and there i decided not to put everything in there along the process because it would have made this video super long so i'm gonna take you guys with me with to a few stores the stores that i was most successful at that i got most of my things from and then at the end, of course, I will show you guys a full tour of how my room looks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. At the end, I will tell you guys what it is that I want to still get and ask for your advice and opinion. So make sure at the end of this video, you leave me a comment or a thumbs up. If you like the room, a comment if there's something that you think that I should do differently. And make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. All right, you guys, let's get into it. the transformation and I know some of y'all gonna say it's not even that bad but it has no character y'all I can definitely do better than this so starting in this first corner got bags just tacked up on the wall this is kind of my little on the way out corner so I grab my earrings grab whatever little crossbody I'm gonna put on y'all look at this cords just wrapped up tangled up a whole mess my office area is not that bad it just doesn't have anything to it I had something like this set up in my room in college and it's just a bunch of mess like what's the thing so it definitely needs more character under my desk got containers and stuff just stuffed under there Amazon packages on the side behind the chair no character to my window y'all didn't bother to hang up any curtains, put up a curtain rod. Been in this part apartment a whole year. This is my bed. Nothing really going on there. Just a splash of purple with some gray. And this is my last wall over here. All right. I went to Burlington, y'all, and I was very successful. I'm not surprised because I'm always successful in Burlington. It is my favorite home decor store, so I picked up quite a few things. I can't remember right now as I'm speaking, but I will show you guys later in this video. If you're doing any type of glam decor, go to Burlington. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all, I was on the hunt for a blush fur black blanket, and Burlington had every color but black, literally every color, every shade, glitter, sparkle, everything I would need. They just didn't have black, so y'all help me find a black blanket that's similar to this one. Alright, y'all, 
house. I'm starting to get stuff. I've been going to a couple of stores. I've been ordering and I've been getting a few things. So I want to show y'all as I go, as I buy what I've been finding. I still have quite a few more packages to come before I could put everything up and actually decorate, but I'm giving y'all progress. Really pretty. This picture, I meant picture. This pillow came from Ross. I believe it was $11.99, $12 for this pillow. This rug came from Five Below. Um, this is just like a little foot rug. I don't know if I'm gonna sit it to my feet um, when I sit in this chair or if I'm gonna have it on my desk as like a pop of something on my desk because it matches. It's not marble, but it matches. Like it's a dark gray and a light gray in here and it matches the marble stuff that I've been getting. My comforter, I love my comforter, y'all. It was $75, I want to say, at Target. So, plus tax, it probably came to close to $80. But it's a full slash queen type comforter. And then in here, I just have random stuff I've been buying. I got a jewelry box. I got a throw blanket. I put these Sephora bags in here because I'm going to use it as decor to stuff some things away that I might want to keep out of sight. Y'all, I don't even wear makeup like that, but ever since Rihanna released her Fenty Beauty line, I've been going there to support her. So lip glosses, little foundations and stuff, if I can. I go to Sephora and I always keep the bag. So I thought it matched my decor. I'm going to use it somewhere in this room. So call me ghetto if you want to, but yeah, I got a sheet set. Curtain should be somewhere down there, y'all. Um, but I'm not actually decorating today, so I don't want to pull everything out. But curtains, I told y'all I'm going with the um, marble print for my office area. So I've been finding some marble stuff. This is the last most recent thing that I purchased for my room, y'all. It is my floor rug. It's really big and really pretty, and I'm really excited about it. Oh my gosh, let me show y'all how much I spent came from Ross by the way and this rug was $36.99 for a cute area rug and I'm gonna replace that little small one and put this black fur one um and although it doesn't cover the majority of my floor it's big enough so I really really love the rug so yeah, y'all, I told y'all in this corner, um, I'm changing all of this purses and stuff, all of that's going in the closet, and I'm changing this area into a reader's nook. So, so far, I've gotten a beanbag chair. That's what I'm going to be sitting in to read. It's like a velvet suede material. But I got this from Walmart. It is called a Big Joe. You can go on their website and type in Big Joe. And all different styles and colors will come up. They have suede. They have like this uh, windbreaker type material. When you sit on it, it makes too much noise. But I like this one. It goes with my aesthetic. Um, so I'm going to sit a cute little pillow in it. Not this one, of course. But some type of pillow in it. Get me a little foot rug. Put together my book. Now, before I get to the packaged part, um, the stuff that I ordered, I need to show y'all this lamp. I forgot to show y'all this in the last clip but this is the shade of it that I'm holding up so pretty and then this is the bottom of it um yeah y'all I didn't mess up now but y'all get the picture I got this from one of my clients Bree she was redoing her room and um she didn't see it fit for her apartment anymore and it is true when they say one man's trash is another man's treasure because i absolutely love it for what i'm about to do in this room and she hated it so i'm glad she did this candle holder y'all and it's two separate situations going on <laughs> this small candle holder i got from dd's Dee discount i believe it was 7.99 i got it maybe a year ago in the last spot and then this part I've, I also got from Dee Dee's discount so I seen two separate pieces they were on the same aisle I got this and I got that and then when I got home I ended up stacking them but 
I said all that to say I really love this candle holder. I knew I was going to keep this because it goes with my new theme as well. But it matches perfectly with the lamp that I got from my client. I'm so glad that I purchased this. When I found out she was selling it, I knew I had to have it, but I didn't know why. And then I got home and it goes, look. Y'all, so I just had to show y'all that real quick. What I didn't like is... They give you this beautiful comforter, right? Beautiful pillow shams. It got a little crinkle in it. Y'all, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Beautiful pillow shams. One beautiful... I can't even get my words out. One beautiful throw pillow. Velvet. Which I didn't need all of them to be velvet because I want different things going on with my throw pillows. But Target, what is this? What is this? Alright y'all, some goodies came in from Amazon today. I'm going to unpackage this package on camera so you guys can see some of the stuff I've been getting in. Amazon has literally been dropping stuff off back to back. Love Amazon. I feel like the whole the whole world loves Amazon at this point. <laughs> but in this box, I got a couple different things. Well, in this package, I got a couple different things. First up is this sh chandelier looking photo. Y'all, I, I gotta be honest, since we unpackaged it on camera, I'm gonna give y'all my reaction on camera. I'm a little disappointed in the size of this. They gave me the measurements, but I didn't have a ruler, or I really couldn't envision how big it was. I looked at the reviews, and over some people's couches, and over some people's bed frames, it looked pretty big, but I think they were taking close-up shots. But y'all, it's a beautiful image. I'm going to take it out. It's a chandelier, obviously. But it is black and white. I'm getting rid of all of the colored pictures in my room and replacing them with classy, upscale, glamorous black and white photos. If y'all remember the lamp and the candle holder I showed y'all with the little dangly things dripping from it. Um, in the back, back there, you could probably see a little glimpse of my candle holder. It just has those shingly things. I wanted to pull that out. I'm in love with the picture, y'all, but y'all will see when I get it on the wall that it is really small. <laughs> um, on to the next thing. I got some lashes, y'all. Has nothing to do with the room makeover, but. All right, now we're going to get into this box. A lot of this is just filler stuff. Okay, and here you guys, I have a ring light. Um, this one is like a smaller one. Um, one that I can sit on my desk or I can sit on my ottoman if I'm filming in the living room. Or if I'm doing hair, I, I can sit it on my hair station. Um, but yeah, this is my smaller ring light. I have a bigger one on the way as well for videos to come, but... Yeah, I can't get the stand out, but it's an ottoman, and I'm pretty sure the stand is somewhere attached to it in this box. The stand that attaches to it is somewhere in this box. Okay, you guys, so it's looking like I went through the whole package. Um, it's looking like the only thing in reference to this video um, that was bedroom related was this photo right here. Okay, you guys. I am going to hang this picture up now and as I'm putting it in place of where I want it to go right here in the center of these two mirrors I'm realizing that I'm definitely going to have to go back to this vendor. I love the picture. I love the finish on it. It's very glossy, very pretty. As y'all can see it next to this lamp, it kind of matches the thing that's going on with my lamp. Um, but it's just not big enough. So for the time being, for the sake of me just getting this project done, um, I could always go back later and touch up things that I don't like or I wish I could have done different. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hang this today. And then in the future, I'll go ahead and order some more stuff to fill up this space. I might do like a collage type situation with multiple black and white pictures. 
if I can find different things, um, different photos that are around the same theme as this, or I might just get a bigger picture just like this because I really love this chandelier. But So tiny so I'm gonna have to get definitely get more photos to fill up this space and it might even be a little cricket but y'all it's such a beautiful photo I don't know why they advertise it like it's so much bigger I'm so disappointed all right y'all we are now unboxing our second package which is also from Amazon anything I couldn't get out of the store for my bedroom, I got from Amazon. This is a curtain, and I got this from the same vendor that I got my sparkly pillows from, so I'm gonna show y'all. These are the pillows. really loved them once they came in I had ordered them from Amazon maybe a couple weeks before I ordered the curtain and once I got the pillows I fell in love with them like I said and I had to get a curtain so I have two black curtain panels and then I'm gonna put this silver one in the middle this I did not come out of that package I just wanted to show y'all real quick how it looks it's a two panel 84 inch curtain pack from Walmart I got two curtain panels for $10 and I'm going to put these on the outside and then the sparkly one on the inside because my comforter is already silver. A lot of my throw pillows are silver. I wanted to do black curtains, but then seeing this and had to have it, so I'm going to put it in the middle. four inches just like these so again these two will go on the outside this one will go on the inside I love the fact that it's thin very thin but you can't see through it like well you can barely see through it should I say so when I put it up to my window you'll still see the sparkle without seeing straight through to my window because it is a thin curtain So I ordered some art of hers. I got two paintings that I have of her coming in and then I got this poster of her, which I'm going to need a frame for. But this is the poster. Of course, everything is black and white. Turn it this way. So I'm going to frame this and this will go over my little reading area and I got a couple other paintings of her. Well, this is an actual picture, like a photo and then Amazon, I guess, just made it into a poster. But the other artwork I have of her is actual painting. This came in today, y'all. How beautiful is this? I got it tacked to my wall right now to try to get the wrinkles out, but I got a frame for it as well. And she is going to look oh so lovely on my Rihanna wall. I'm going to do a whole wall of just Rihanna inspired art. So cute. Okay, so my next task is this back wall. It's one of the most blank walls in my room, which I really hate because it is the biggest wall in my room. Um, if you remember the first clip from the opening video, well, the before part of this video, um, I had this mirror here. It's always been there. It's always going to stay here because I absolutely love it. Um, but on each side of the mirror, I had two little small mirrors, and I decided to take those down because I didn't feel like I needed three mirrors in a row like that. So I'm gonna keep this up here. 
um, a friend of mine, well, a friend of the family was moving out of her place not too long ago, and she gave it to me. I fell in love with it. I put it up when we first got this place, and like I said, it's going to stay there. Um, I don't know if it came silver, but maybe she spray painted it. I'm not sure. It needs to be Windex down. I'm, I'm going to make sure by the time I go and do the after part of this video where I show you guys the complete tour that I spray everything and have it sparkly and shiny. So don't judge the smudging, but yeah, I'm gonna leave that there, but on each side of the mirror, I wanted to do something to kind of draw your attention to this wall or kind of like decorate this wall a little better. So what I decided to do was print out self portraits of myself. It's very vain, but that's what I went to go do. And so I'm gonna show you guys those photos because they just came today these are the pictures and now that i got them i ordered them online from cvs's photoshop and once i got them once i went to go pick them up i realized that they're a little bit smaller than i would have liked them to be but it's okay they are 16 by 20s and i don't know what the next size up from this is but i should have got um the next size up it's the legs for me just body <laughs> so I'm going to frame each of these. I went ahead and got the frames while I was waiting for my order to be filled. I went to the Walmart nearby and got a 16 by 20 frame for each one. I just got basic black frames. These were $5, y'all. Um, $5.88, so about $6 for the frame. So I ended up putting the Believe in Yourself picture over my window and it's really cute but I still don't feel like there's enough going on up here. So I went and got more self portraits printed. Got this one in black and white and this one. One happy, one serious and then I got these 11 by 14 frames from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to frame these and then they're going to go on each side of the Believe in Yourself picture. So I have it in its frame and now I just got to go get command strips. I didn't even think about that to hang them up. But I love these photos. So over here I am trying to finalize my little reading section. I got the beanbag chair put up. I framed the pictures of Rihanna I showed y'all earlier in the video. I decided to go with the Rihanna theme for my little reading area and yeah, I put up some floating shelves. I have some of my Rihanna perfumes I pulled out of my bathroom just to put out here. So I have a few of those up here. I have some Fenty Beauty foundation. I brought it and it was a couple shades too dark and due to COVID they would not let me return it. If y'all know anything about this foundation, y'all know it isn't cheap. So I'm really upset about that, but right now it's just up for display. I have my nude perfumes over here. And yeah, I printed out these two little four by sixes. I Googled black and white photos of Rihanna because I was just gonna print out maybe one more black and white photo, but I came across all eight of these and I couldn't choose. So I ended up making a collage and I'm just gonna stick them up in here in this little section. I gotta get four by six frames, but that might wrap up what I do with this gallery and then again I might go print out two more um photos like this to put at the bottom I'm not sure yet but the little reading section is coming along all I need to do is just find some type of bookshelf or book situation to organize or organizing situation to put my books together but yes this is the Rihanna corner today I received the final furniture piece I needed to make this room complete is an office chair by du home elegant lifestyle y'all been eyeing this chair for months and i finally got it i'm so excited to put it together and it is an office chair for my desk so plush so cute i got it in light gray and you guys will see it when i hook it all up
it spins pretty good. Now let's see if I can go a little higher. Oh, got a little bounce to it. It spins when it's high. Okay, so now, like I did in the beginning, I'm just going to go around the room in each corner and explain what's going on. And then, like I told y'all, I need to still get some things. So I'll tell y'all in each corner what it is I want to do differently and give y'all a chance to help me or what it is I still need to do and give you guys a chance to give me some feedback. But if you remember the beginning of this video, then you'll remember that this was my my last little area where I would get ready on my way out. So I had my crossbody bags, a mirror, some jewelry, and I just felt like that was unnecessary clutter to the room because I have a whole closet to hang my purses and jewelry in. So I decided to make this a little area where I can sit down and read, sip some wine after a long day. Um, what is this on my floor? But um, yeah, so this is my little corner where I'm reading now. I've been using this corner for about a month or two now, y'all. I've been almost complete with this project since the year has begun. So I've been putting this little corner to use already. But what I did was I just hung some Rihanna pictures. You guys see me unpackage these earlier in the video. I framed those. And then earlier in the video, I showed you the printouts of these 4 by 6s I just framed those and they have some of my favorite photos of her and then up here I have perfume stuff I still use on a regular basis I just pulled it out of my bathroom I have a storage cabinet in my bathroom that holds the remainder of my perfume I just pulled out all of my Rihanna perfumes to put on display to add to the theme and the aesthetic but down here I have my little beanbag chair I have my Bible, I have this little tablet that holds a lot of the books, I read ebooks, and then I have a current book that I'm reading called Heaven at the Heartbreak, and it's basically your average story about a woman who goes through a really bad breakup with the guy who treated her like crap, and she ends up finding the love of her life, so right now I'm reading the backstory where they're pretty much just telling about her toxic relationship with the guy she started with. So that's the current book I'm reading. I have the Bible there always. And then, like I said, this is my little tablet that holds my ebooks, some slides to keep my feet cozy. This was the old rug that was in the middle of my floor at the beginning of the video. I have a black and silver basket that matched my room perfectly. I believe I got this from at home. And I want to say it was $12 or $13. I have a basket of blankets here. You guys, I love to be warm. And then, what's, oh yeah, these are some socks I got out of Burlington's a few days ago. And it is some socks themed after the movie Mean Girls. It's one of my favorite movies, y'all. So I had to have these socks. But yeah, I just put them on my feet when I'm reading and stuff. And um, let me see what they say. They have all the characters' names on here. Regina, Gretchen, Karen, and Katie on this pair and then this one says on wednesdays we wear pink if y'all know the movie y'all know that's one of the most famous sayings or lines from the movie this one says a little bit dramatic this one says um that's so fetch that's another famous line from the movie and then this one has the cover of the burn book this pair so i had to have this pack of socks y'all love mean girls i got a couple of graphic tees with different scenes from the movies on them so those socks just made sense i got a rihanna magazine every time she makes the cover of a magazine y'all i buy it so i just put in one of the covers one of the magazines that i have where she was wearing black that would kind of tie into my room and then down here you guys i have a little book holder that's holding some of my recent books that i've been trying to get into and then i got this full body mirror you guys from burlington for I want to say it was $19.99. Um, most people, when I was looking at inspiration photos, they kind of catacorner their mirror. And what I heard was when you put a mirror in the corner of your room, it kind of like 
brings the room out or makes it look bigger but I had already set up how I was gonna have this set up so that's why it's kind of like awkwardly placed by my TV but if you guys have any suggestions on where else I can put that mirror please let me know because right now it's just foolishly sitting there where I read at honestly I wanted to get some type of bookshelf situation because I have totes and totes and baskets and boxes full of books y'all I love to read I'm trying to get back into it but yes I want to put together a bookshelf situation so all my books can sit here beside me and I can kind of like choose them like a library while I sit there but yeah that's it just tell me what I should do with this mirror like where I should place it and also where I can find a bookshelf a cute little small bookshelf about as high as the bean bag to um store my books that is either black or silver of course my tv stand i kind of left it as is i think i talked to y'all in the beginning about potentially mounting my tv but i decided to just keep it where it is and then right now i just got some music videos playing that's my song actually queen naja pack light then above the tv you guys i had this really small chandelier photo that i showed y'all y'all see me unpackage this it was something that i really loved so i kept it here but I want to do more with it. I ended up getting this clock from Burlington. I felt like it matched the whole glam theme. And then these two mirrors have been here. They were from Dollar Tree for a dollar. The picture in the middle, if I didn't say, came from Amazon. But I think I want to create like a collage situation. Um, since I decided to leave my TV low, I want to like either frame some pictures of family or frame like some inspirational quotes. I think I want to frame some pictures of family because I have so many inspirational quotes around the room as you guys will see when I show you more of the transformation but I don't have anything like about my family and y'all know I'm a big family person so I think I want to frame some pictures of my family in black and white just different photos and like get some mirrored frames to put around there and make like a collage situation if I can find a picture on Pinterest that goes with what I'm talking about I'll show you guys what I'm talking about so y'all can get the vision I decided to give my little office area its own theme so as you see here and there I have like little marble printed stuff because I wanted my office to be marble print just to give myself a different setting because my office area is in my room right next to my bed I kind of wanted to feel like I'm in a different space even though I'm not um so I've been had this marble trash can this marble pillow came from Shein what the pillow case did um, and then I just stuffed it and then I got this chair from Amazon it was a must-have it's actually a vanity chair if you guys are into makeup and you have a vanity this chair was really popular on Pinterest so many people have it in so many different colors and I had to have it I'm like vanity chair my behind I know I don't have no vanity chair but no vanity but this is gonna be my office chair I really love the desk I meant the chair I like the shape and everything so excuse the wood i've been i had this bed a long time and it's all chipped up from movers just moving my stuff carelessly and chipping up the paint but yeah um i have a few marble items this is like an incense burner you can stick your incense sticks in there and um burn them and then i have this marble coffee cup that's holding like my dry erase markers for my dry erase board and some scissors i have this quoted picture that i've been had from dollar tree I have this quote that says you got this I got this from Burlington I think you guys seen I think I showed a clip in Burlington where I seen a marble print um quote that was really really cute I think it says I wear my confidence like makeup or I wear my makeup I wear my yeah I think it says I wear my confidence like I wear my makeup or something but it was really cute and it was marble themed but it had like gold applique in it and I wanted something with silver so I ended up with this one and even though it's not marble print it's still glittery and shimmery and it matches like you know the rest of my room so I really really love this I felt like I needed something near my desk to kind of push me if I'm looking up or drifting off or like just getting distracted I have that quote to like keep me going or push me and then I have this marble print dry erase board my graduation photo from college I started to print this in black and white to match my room but you know, I am a proud graduate from my university and I just decided to keep the green cap and gown as it is. It don't give the same look, you know, when you print it in black and white. So I decided to just keep it. It's okay if it's off. Some family photos, some journals. Down in this basket, I have 
all of my pens, gel pens, crayons, highlighters, one of my journals I'm currently journaling in. Then I have some wax burners or wax melts for my little wax melt thing over here. And then I just have this little glittery board that came from Burlington. I think it was $5.99 and I put my YouTube channel name on there with my birth year 1994. I have a marble print candle and a marble print stapler. Then I got this little fur rug from Five Below just to lay over my desk. It has like dark gray tones at the bottom and white hairs on top. And that's it, y'all. This bookshelf or this little shelf situation right here holds a bunch of random things that I still need to sort out. Um, just random stuff, y'all. It's dusty. It needs to be dusted off, so don't judge me. But um, gloves, Uno cards, y'all. Lady Gaga came out with these new Oreo cookies. It's like a strawberry-flavored cookie with a green filling. And I wanted to try them, so I got snacks sitting by my desk for me to snack on. Under there, I have a lot of my event planning stuff. Um tablecloths backdrops different backdrops for when i do youtube videos and different stuff like that are stored under there so i just have to organize it a little better but that's my office situation um let me know if i can do anything different for right now i'm just gonna leave it as is only thing i would do differently is just reorganize my shelf better but yes uh that is my office situation over here i have my curtains you guys, tragic story, quick little tragic backstory on this curtain situation. If you pay close attention, I just have the curtains folded over the blind case. Like, the blinds are as is, and I don't have any curtain rod. I had brought a really pretty sparkly curtain rod. It had big, big balls on each end, silver, like, sequin balls that match the middle curtain. And I got home and was trying to carry everything up the stairs and cracked one of the balls. One of the ends shattered. And now I got to go back and try to find another one. So whenever I get that and I do my um, update, I'll show you guys how it looks with curtain rods. But just so that I wasn't um, pushing this video off any longer, I decided to just fold them over. But these are eight foot curtains. Actually, when they're unfolded, they hit the floor. All three of them go all the way down to my floor, which I thought was pretty cool because I have really high ceilings. Over that, I have this photo that says, Believe in Yourself. This came from At Home. I believe it was $9.99. And on each side of that photo, I have two photos of myself. These were from my 26th birthday shoot. I was in pink in these photos, but of course, I went and printed them in black and white so it would match my room. You guys, this is my bed. My comforter came from Target. It was a velvet comforter I spoke to y'all about earlier in the video. All my throw pillows came from either Shein, Amazon, or At Home, or Ross. If you want further details on those, then you'll have to watch my previous video where I talk about affordable home decor because I broke down the details on all of these pillows. And then these two glittery photos came from Burlington they were $3.99 a piece the top one says you'll never get this day again make it count um but you can't really see it and then the bottom one of course says do what you love up above my bed I have two more self portraits on both sides these were for my 25th birthday shoot where I wore purple but of course I printed them in black and white so they could match this one I'm kind of mugged up looking serious this one shows more of my playful side. Um, and that's what I did on over here too. I did a more playful pose and then more of a serious, sexy face. Um, this mirror has been here and then each of these photos came from at home. They were $12.99 I want to say. This one says, don't let anyone dull your sparkle. This one says, slay the day. Then right here on my nightstand, you guys, I have a flower vase with the black and white roses in it. The flower vase I've been had, it came from Walmart. The roses came from Dollar Tree. The white ones came from Dollar Tree. The black ones came from Shein. This little thing in the middle with the ring light on it is actually a space heater and a fan. It rotates. I talked to you guys about this in my previous video as well when I broke down some affordable home decor. This lamp came from one of my clients who was getting rid of some of her glam bloom stuff and I had to have it. I don't have a light bulb in it, but yes. I couldn't figure out if these things hang on the outside or they hang in the inside. So I have some in and some out. 
but yes um as far as this area goes uh with my bed i need advice on where i can find a black throw blanket i want like a black throw bank blanket to kind of add a little bit more black to my bed at the foot of the bed so if you guys have any details on where i can find a black throw blanket please don't send me nothing crazy because I don't want to spend over like $15 on a blanket. I could have found one if I wasn't being cheap, but it's just for decor. I don't think I'm going to lay in it. I have so many other blankets. So just something I can throw across here, y'all. Let me know where I can find that. And then I want like a mirrored tray, like some type of little tray. I can show you guys my inspiration, but a tray to go on my um nightstand right here to put my water and my remotes on. Right now, I just have my iPad and my remote. This right here, y'all don't mind this. This is a DIY project I was trying to do. I got this little uh, wallpaper from Shein. It's really sparkly and glittery. And I tried to like cover up a canvas and make my little, make like a little quoted photo. But it didn't turn out right. So I don't know. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll try to figure it out. But this item came from amazon i also went over the details and unboxed this in my previous video about home decor and the pillow as well came from sheet in and i broke that down as well and then on my dresser you guys i have a candle holder holding one of my large mahogany teakwood candles y'all these candles are not just for the aesthetic of black and silver i love these candles it is my favorite candle scent from black bath and body work so I have one of them up there in the candle holder sitting on top of a jewelry box. And then um, my second one, then I have my small black Bath and Body Works candles burning now. These I believe are the lavender and cedar wood. Yes, lavender and cedar wood. I have them turned to the back because the purple label doesn't match my room and I'm OCD about that. These little candle holders came from Ross. They were $4.99, so they were $5 a piece. I got the set for $10. I got these little candle holders that look like broken glass from Dollar Tree. And also this sign that says peace, as well as this sign that says faith, came from Dollar Tree. I framed a picture of me and my mom. And um, I didn't want that in black and white. I had to have some purple somewhere. If y'all know me, y'all know I couldn't completely get rid of the purple, so... That's one of my favorite photos of me and my mama. I have that in a mirrored frame. And this is my desk, the little runner, not my desk, my dresser. The runner came from Shein as well, $2. And then one of my favorite decor pieces in this entire bedroom transformation was this candle holder right here, which was $13, $12.99 at Burlington, y'all. So glam, so pretty. And then it's actually supposed to hold a stick candle in it like one of those tall stick candles, but I couldn't find one. So I put this in there that I got from at home. And this one is like a LED candlelight, kind of like how those are, but I just don't have to switch on. But yes, y'all, this is my room. Um, Up here, I want to get some artwork. I was telling my auntie, I have an auntie who paints that I want artwork up here. So she's going to paint me some type of little mural or abstract art for me to put up there in black and silver. So that's like the last art piece I'm going to put up here and then on each side of my self portraits I want to get like some floating shelves um well I did buy a set this is actually a floating shelf that I have this stuff sitting on and so I don't really need to get them I have a whole set a four pack of these and I want to put one on each side and kind of like either put candles up there or like flower vases or something cute to just add on each end because I feel like each end is blank but um I have to get somebody to mount them up because I don't want to drill holes into my wall and it's uneven and stuff but yeah y'all this is the room
and that wraps up my bedroom tour you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed doing this project it was so much fun i really loved the way my room turned out don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any suggestions or you can answer any of the questions that i asked love you guys see you in the next video